Hello there, this is WannaBindi and I wanted to make a quick video about some changes to Game Maker Studio. And if you're thinking, oh my god, it's just gonna go completely revamp the whole thing. Uh, no, we were getting some new features which I think are extremely welcome because they can, well, make your lives easier. And believe me, this stuff is in a lot of regards excellent so there's some stuff which are which game maker studio 2 is missing of course it's missing a, a few other features but let's uh, <laughs> not talk about that but already the ide is extremely powerful and that stuff is really really sweet so because i just want to tease it so you're like oh this could be interesting this could be interesting yes it could be so a few things for example you thing which is your resources on the right side is gonna get revamped because for now it was quite structured your sprites were here your tile sets were here and well everything was ordered in uh, one way or another but it was kind of structured so um, you could not flip-flop in and here that thing is getting revamped basically you have like a folder structure now where you can just have let's say one folder and then you call it player and in your player you just put in all the stuff which you need, for example, your sprite, uh, a sound effect and so on. And so you can neatly organize your stuff, which is pretty cool. And for example, you can just uh, have some quick color stuff. So you can basically mark that stuff, which is great for visibility. So these changes are, let's say, not fundamental. Of course, you can live without them, but I think it's definitely nice and for example if you're having like two bazillion essence like me like i don't know lots of lots of lots of other stuff which is flying around and you get a little bit lost therefore they put in tags and if you don't know what tags are for example um well these are little keywords which you search for and they are used for let's say for youtube so if you're for example searching for uh, green flying buckets then you type it in and then for example somebody has a video on that hopefully they, it, it does exist i guess not but um this is a thing which is very practical so basically if you're searching uh, um, in google or in youtube then those tags are basically the keywords you type in in your search and then you will find the most relevant stuff so this is the same you can do this in game maker studio 2 now and then well you can find stuff faster of course one of the things which is getting then getting kicked out because before that you had a room structure and then for example you have a room then the room after that that stuff is getting kicked out because here you had your first room and then the next one and the next one and for example um, you had this little function which was called room next and then you were jumping into the next room but in my opinion uh, it's not that big of a deal because uh, a lot of times you just go go to room and then you just point in the name or whatever it's called and then you just jump to the other one so you don't need this chronological order which was nice but this feature i never used it so it's getting kicked out no problem here and now we come to the very very interesting part in here maybe it doesn't sound too interesting but it is good it's really really good because that stuff i use for other things and we will go right into it. The first thing is animation curves. For that, this just means, like, say, for example, you can you have the lerp function and you just go between one value to the other one. But now you can have this nice graph. And for example, if you want things to hover or just go like shoot and accelerate and all that stuff, you had to do that painstakingly with code here you can do that with an animation curve, which is pretty cool. So you can use it for I don't know for some position of uh, an object whatever or colors or whatever so here you can actually play around of course i will do some videos once i have the better because i had to apply for it and i'm three uh, days late and you have to apply for it so you can actually use it yay so i'm kind of late to the party as it seems that does video and here we come to the really 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 and i must stress it really cool part because sequences a uh, great excellent addition to uh, game maker studio 2 and i love the idea because what you're basically seeing here is kind of what you see in well um, um, programs like say like uh, adobe after effects 
Premiere or Shotcut. It's basically video editing animation software where you have some, uh, some, some timeline and for example on that you can change things. And this is for example here, this is I guess the easiest example. For example, you want to move in, move this character from left to the right and you just set on let's say first time, second time and then you just uh, you can just animate it and then you can do lots of great things. So what is the well key point to take away from here? So what is this basically? You can animate stuff and this is so amazing because this is so easy. I love the feature. Uh, for example, if you're using Premiere or Shotcut or whatever, you can uh, animate stuff like say move around and so on. And this is a great addition for Game Maker Studio if you want to have cutscenes if you want to animate your logo or if you want to animate, let's say for example, um, there's something coming in, let's say uh, a header or whatever, things which are cosmetical but really, really uh, annoying to code. But now you can actually do that with this little feature, which is the sequences. And this is basically uh, animation software included into Game Maker Studio really really cool stuff and once i have of course the beta <laughs> unlocked for me hopefully in a few days then i will do some video tutorials how you can actually use it and then for example once it is out for the general public as a normal update on your ide because at once one point it will come from beta into well normal part of game maker studio then uh, game maker studio 2 of course then you will get this feature and I must say wow 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 of course here they, you can do lots of things besides maybe uh, changing the position for an animation you can mask stuff and you can actually make some really neat cutscenes which were uh, a pain in the I don't want to tell it tell the last word to that uh, it, let's call it was a little bit more difficult and painstaking to do and now this stuff is great and you can play around with it don't be fooled that it looks kind of silly because that stuff here looks a little bit silly it is very powerful and if I actually watched the tutorial videos on how you can do some, some stuff and I already love it so I'm gonna be using it in my games and for now well Let's hope I get the better key and can show you some videos concerning that stuff and the rest, I don't know, it's just going into blah 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 blah, don't care, don't care, don't care. Great new additions, I love it, hopefully you will love it also. See you next time and have a good one, one up indeed.